Hello, everyone, and welcome to Test Chamber. I'm Dan Tack, and I'm here with Brian Shea. Yep, hello. And we also have Wade over there, Commissioner Wade. I'm back here somewhere in the booth. And today, we are playing Dungeon Fighter Online. This Ooh. is the second time this game has come to the United, uh, to the North America. Uh, Nexon tried to bring it here a few years back, but it didn't take. And now it is back under Neeple's control. That was quite a crowd you just walked through. Yeah, lots of players in town waiting to get dungeons. We're just going into a dungeon right now, and we're going to start. We'll just get right into action. We don't have time that, to wait around. I think that will explain gameplay better than I ever could. Whoa. So... My class is the creator, which is very different than other classes because I actually use the mouse. Is it the creator? Yes. So why does it have that name? Like right now I just see you just no, destroying I, more I, than creating. I create elements. Fire, ice, wind. So pretty much a mage. Um, this is, again, this is a very, class plays very differently because other classes, you know, will have to aim attacks. I actually aim with the mouse cursor. So that's probably a little bit more precise then. It's very precise and actually in some aspects uh, it's very strong. Oh, wow, we're seeing dialogue trees here now. It's very strong in the early game. Kind of peters out later, though. <laughs> but it's an extremely powerful class because I can name my attacks with the mouse. Nice. All others, right, so others play more like traditional brawlers or fighters. So your name is Dan Tax. It is. <laughs> and I think that when you were coming in, I saw other, your other classes were like Dan Rex, Dan, <laughs> Dan Tox. Uh, there are many Dans. <laughs> Just different, different variations of your name, pretty much. Indeed. So as you can see, I'm not really having a problem with this dungeon because I am a creator. And this is a mid-game, I'd say. This is around level 53. This is definitely your, your main class, because I saw your other your other classes were like level 2 and 4 and right. 6. Um, so this is the one you've definitely played around with the most. This is my main currently, uh, but I will certainly take other classes once we get going. It's, you know, this game's been out a little longer. It is an open beta right now, so anyone can play. It is free to play. There's no cash shop implementation at this time. That will come online later. What are those things? They're like spiky gorillas. These are, these are clearly Yeti, Wade. Come on. <laughs> Yetis with, like, massive spikes on their backs. Like, like clearly. Right. Totally. <laughs> so, wait, was that an ice attack you just did on a Yeti? Yes. Seems like fire would probably be more effective. No, there are enemies with, like, re different resistances and everything. These are just generic, sort of. As you wait, his name I'm, is Iceball Louie? I'm clicking on him to fight him instead of using abilities because of my class, the creator. Wow. So, again, other classes do require, I'm not going to say more skill, but, yeah, more skill. <laughs> So you just chose the easy class. Uh, I just wanted something new for this time of the game. I'd played like a lot of the other classes beforehand when this game was over here before, and I wanted a completely new experience. So does every creator look like that little girl? They, they do right now, yes. Okay, but so there are going to um, be differences. Yeah, there are all kinds of... Whoa! Oh, man. Okay, I don't know what that was. I'm dead. All right, then. Well. I'm back. That was crazy. Did not expect that at all. What was that? Who shot that? I think this guy... This crazy... I don't know. I don't know. It was a combination of factors, I think, but it really hurt. <laughs> Looked wow. like an attack that I would see in Bloodborne. So yeah, you can you can customize your avatar quite a bit later on, but right now this is the base template. Wow, look at that guy. Yeah. That guy looks like quite the behemoth. So the game actually, you know, while it's an MMO, is formed around four-man groups, instance parties most of the time. We might try one of that after I finish this dungeon. Um, and as you can see, well, not with this class, but it plays really close to like a fighter or a brawler. You can play it with a controller to execute all your moves. It's very fast paced. There's no tab targeting or anything like that. So you're aiming your attacks, you're getting combos, work up a score. And uh, our, a little graphic came up earlier with a joystick and arcade buttons. Yeah, I like can that. you hook up some sort of peripheral like that? Uh, I know that it's uh, controller compatible. Um, it would not seem like a stretch that would be hard to set up that either. That'd be pretty cool. That's a really interesting combo. Like you're saying, the uh, the old brawler with an MMO style. Oh yeah, there's so you've got gear and all that stuff and level ups and different skills. So it's yeah, it's a combination. It's a combination. I'm surprised you don't actually see more of. Yeah, like um, it seems like such a natural fit. It really is. Like it does play. It, it's an excellent, excellent game. Man. So what's this fire dude hanging out in this ice dungeon? What fire dude? The guy we were just fighting? Yeah. That was, uh, I don't know. These are generic. I, I haven't really read what the reason is we're here, because we're just going in and fighting stuff. But there is story if you want it. I wouldn't say it's as deep as other, you know, story arcs in other games, but sure, there's some, some backstory to why you're doing what you're doing. Beyond just questing. Oh, so it actually hurts you if you yeah, run into the spikes? That ice spike hurts. Sure, there's like all kinds of environmental, uh... Oh, this guy looks like it could be problematic. No, we're not to the... We're almost to the... Is this the boss room? Yeah, this you the can't boss. run from the cold. This is the boss room, so there's the boss. 
Whoa. Whoa. Meteor. Yeah, we're gonna pull out all the big all the big guns. Fire tornado. Whoa. You just <laughs> It just kept going. Yeah, it goes. It goes for a while. I expect it to peter out there for a second. If you but... see it, like, if you look oh above my, my skills at the bottom right, they have, like, all different charge meters, and I can use the skill to the charge ones out. Oh, and I man. And I swap. Oh, I love how over over the top it is with all these numbers on screen. Oh, yeah, yeah, it gets not wild. Even Whoa. Able to read. And you know what? This class isn't even one of the fancy ones as far as move goes. The other ones all have, um, like, you know, they see their portrait cut the screen, and, like, a big flash will appear when they do ultimate abilities. We don't have that as a creator. So where's your health? Is it the lower left uh, circle? Yes. Okay, so you're not doing so well gonna, right now. I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, regained a little bit. Okay, okay, okay. So it's the Frost Witch Heen that we're fighting yep. right now. Still got six bars left. I mean, we are, yeah, wow. Jeez. But you can see the, the creator has a very easy time juggling because they click to attack and they can yeah. click anywhere on the screen. But again, I don't get the really cool moves that show like the screen going dark and massive abilities blowing up the screen like other classes. Get. I don't know. That flame strike was a pretty cool move. No, it's cool, but like I said, not as stylish. Wow. Perfect. What more could you want? No, we're finally doing some damage. There you go. Down to the last life bar. Got this. You're yeah, at do. full. You're at, you're at half health, and she. We're good. There you go. Yeah, we got it. So, how is the uh, looting system in this? I see you're picking up some stuff after you defeated her. Right. So there are, there are drops, and we get extra extra loot after every uh, dungeon as well. Oh, awesome! A used chain. A crappy That's crappy you know white drop. What I always wanted. We can disassemble that for goodies. And then we'll go back to town. Where was Delilah when you were fighting that witch? Uh, she doesn't come in to help till after we're done with encounters. But how convenient! See, we completed a couple quests there. Oh, that, that's good armor. The bunny. It's very functional for this uh, winter <laughs> yeah. winter environment. <laughs> so we got you know, there's more quests that we're doing. Seems like a predominantly female we got cast a new, here. A new title. So we can equip that if we want. Got another mission to defeat. Greetings More from stuff CEO. The ice oh yeah, yeah. Like for the, the open the... beta, you get extra goodies. Oh no, I wanted to, oh, I wanted to do that as a mission with other people. Hang on, let's, let's oh, just boy. leave. Yeah, let's get out of here. We will get a penalty, but you know what? Whatever. What's the penalty? Uh, it takes our stam off. We can restore that though. Ha! <laughs> Spit in the face of their rules. Yeah. Um, all right, let's try to do that again with a crew. So we'll try to quick party for it. All right. Oh no. Oh, check your stamina. Because you lost your stamina. Oh, no. Yeah, hang on. We can fix that. <laughs> now we got that taken care of. Uh, so this is a crowd of NPC slash players these are, or these are players? Not, none of these are NPCs. These are all players. Jeez. So is this all the players or is this just no. like one, one little This is portion. one small area of the game. Christ. <laughs> so we're quick Christ. partying to do this one. So we've got two of us already and it's going to wait another 15 seconds to see if anybody else shows up. And if not, we'll go with two. Okay. Quick party gives a little few bonuses, so... Makes it easier. Uh, do you have any idea how many people play this game? No, I do not, sir. It is currently an open beta. But you were talking before, it's, it's pretty huge. It is absolutely huge overseas. This is a giant game in other countries. Oh, so it's just the two of us. Yeah. We've got a launcher with us. Whoa. As you can see, he's got, he's got flamethrowers. He's going to have flamethrowers, missiles, probably. It depends on skills. He just shot a missile. Oh, no, that was not a missile. That was not a missile. You, you will know when he shoots Oh, the there missile. we go. we got a machine gun. He's got a chain gun, yep. And as you can see, he actually a has shotgun. to aim his attacks, uh, unlike me, who can just hover over things and click them. So now, what are these messages over on the left side here? Just oh, YOLO. He YOLO'd. Oh god, <laughs> YOLO back. Yeah, that's the only way to respond to a YOLO right. is to YOLO right back. Yep, that's absolutely right. So is there PVP in this? Like, yes, there is. Okay, my, that's cool. my class is not allowed to PVP. Of course, uh, because... because it would be complete hacks, right? <laughs> um, every other class can. That's a good thing. You can turn that text over there that says like how much XP I'm getting, but you know I like to f to keep an eye on what's going on. Yeah, it's you know it adds that instant gratification, kind of like mm -hmm. you know the very first time Call of Duty implemented it when you killed someone, sure. you got like the plus one hundred experience. That's right. That was always really cool when they first started doing that. So I understand. So this is this the same area we just came from? It is. It is. We're clearing it again. Okay. Because I just wanted to show grouping. I was hoping there's a missile. <laughs> Whoa! I was hoping we would get a couple more people who would maybe. So got we can see the differences in right. going it alone and different classes. I'd like to show off a couple more moves. Sure. The launcher that this guy's playing is like a really sort of heavy gunner. Whoa! Uh, lots of really good area of effect attacks, big damage. 
but slow. As opposed to other styles of gunners that can. I'd love to flamethrow a Yeti in real life. <laughs> in real, are you sure about real life? That'd be probably pretty kind of scary. Be awesome. Really? Yeah. Why well, do it in real life? You can just do it here. That's true. So you're definitely gonna try this game, right, Brian? You At some point, are. yes. <laughs> you know, after Bloodborne. I've definitely Born. sold you on it here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it's cooler than I thought it was going to be going in because I, I didn't realize it had like the, the whole like side-scrolling beat 'em up aspect. Oh yeah, to it. yeah. I, tons of it. I had no idea what to expect going in. I saw this going on in your background, like just you're in the town, right? And I just saw like the the graphic style, and I was like, ah, it doesn't really look like it's my thing, but this looks kind of cool. Oh, it's very cool. Are there uh, healing classes that you want to get in your party for like harder dungeons? There, there's more support oriented classes, but there's no strict healer. Got it. Oh, got meteors. Flame throw that rock. That's a nice purple drop there. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> oh, it's a Shadow Knight Sayong. And there's um obvious, try harder. There's content, you know. Oh, there's end game content. Well, my opponent, my other guy, is picking two, I think. Okay. So, and it really does. I don't think it matters what you say. Maybe it does for a quest. I don't know. We're just trying to get through it, you know. For test try harder is the thing you would actually say. If I told you I was having problems with like Bloodborne, no, I would try to help. <laughs> I don't think I'd say. If Wade asked me for help, though, that's what I'd say. Be better at life. <laughs> that's definitely what I'd say to Wade. <laughs> uh, I don't also, have a PS4, so I guess I'm not that lucky. Nope. What if there was like Halo Bloodborne? You'd be down for that, right? <laughs> Halo Bloodborne. What would that even look like? Oh, they put Halo in so many other genres to this point. Yeah, I know, right? Got what RTS? We've got top-down shooter. I guess that's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I guess not a whole lot, huh? They should branch out more, though. Yeah, let's have a Halo brawler. So we're at the boss room again. All right. So is this gonna be the same boss, or is it? Uh, some some have, some have alternates, but this one just has this one, I think, right now. The Frost Witch Heen. Yep. Totally missed that. Wow. At least he hit. Starts with 20 life bars? Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Kill her. I did. <laughs> so what level is he? He's level 54. So you guys are, are pretty evenly matched. Is it, is it match you up with people in the same level? It'll or? match you up with people doing the same dungeon. So they'll, they will likely be very close. Within like okay. three or four levels. Whoa! That's <laughs> a bomb in there. That's right. Whoa. This witch doesn't stand a chance. No, not really. Like, could you imagine if there were four people in this? Like, does it scale to how many players are in it? Uh, or? I'm not it, Taking more people generally makes content easier. Okay. I didn't know if, you know, it increased the difficulty the or the works, life. But it's. Wow. You're making over. quick work of this witch. Indeed. Oh no, ice prison. I hate ice prison. Oh, this hurts. This doesn't look good. There we go. Oh, it looks fine. Destroyed her. There it is. A couple of purples. And a triple S rank. I thought That's S right. was the best you could no, do. No, you could definitely go triple S. Wow. That's a good clear. Solid clear. Got some <laughs> gold and a crappy drop. You're not always going to get like really great purples or Used pinks. silk something. Yeah, it's going to be just destroyed for other loot. Um, and I guess we're done. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we should end every video. Yeah. I guess we're done. Well, let's yeah. want to show off uh, some PvP. I can't. I don't know. <laughs> this character can't PvP, and I don't have a character high enough level to do so. God. Those people are just hanging off the cliff. You've got to be level 35 to PvP, Wade, and, and the creator is not allowed to PvP. Uh, is that because it would just be... It would be broken like, because of the way that the mechanics work by just clicking on the screen. Like, you could just. That would be so overpowered. It would be a massacre. Yeah. So, as you can see, there's lots of people around here just hanging out. Yeah, that's what you do. But in there games. are many different areas to go to in this game. We were just in one small one there. And now I'm just going to leave and take care of some of that junk that we collected. I like your character, Strut. Yeah. His style. Look at that. And she looks like she's wearing chucks. I'm going to set up my disassemble Whoa. here and disenchant these items. 
This is the exciting part of the game. So I'm on the edge of my seat. This is sort of like part of the crafting element. Um, getting extra value from this junk we picked up along the way. Anyway, that's Dungeon Fighter Online. It is free to play and currently in open beta. It's about and to make an amiibo joke with uh, making it, <laughs> getting extra keep, stuff with yeah. all the junk we picked up along the way. And that sounds with like all the amiibos. people who are mad about amiibos now and they're selling their rares. <laughs> Thank you for joining us for Test Chamber. That's Brian Shea, amiibo, right there. Later.